In this tutorial, you will learn how to run the two-way messaging examples. The calculator example demonstrates the use of two-way messaging. Two-way messaging allows the receiver to send something back to the sender. And this represents a typical client-server uh, interaction. I will compile the C++ uh, server program first. Then I will compile the Java uh, examples. OK, it's done. And I will start the server program. Again, the server expects a server destination as its only parameter. I will provide localhost as an address and my favorite port number. The server started and waits for messaging, for messages. I will start the Java client. And here the client expects the server destination and two integers. The two integers will be sent to the server. And the server will compute the results of four basic calculations and will send the results back to the client. This is the endpoint, the server address. And here I provide two integer numbers. The client connected to the server and sent the message. The server computed the results of four basic calculations and sent the, re the response back to the client. I can run the client with uh, different parameters. And in this example program, uh, what is also demonstrated is the fact that the, the parameters of the message which are sent in, in, in any direction from client to server or from server to the client do not have to contain all expected fields. In this case, when zero is provided as a second parameter, the ratio is not included in the response message. Let's see the source code. Again, this is the client code. The client first parses the parameters, creates the agent object, which is necessary to handle all the communication, then creates the parameters object that will contain the two integers. These two integers are given names A and B. These names have to be recognized at the server side. The most important, the important part is sending of the message and here the message is sent to the calculator object which is a logical destination the message name is calculate the result of this call is the outgoing message object which allows the client code to interact with the agent later to obtain the results for the message the message is being sent in the background and the client code can continue its own processing but since in this example the client has nothing else to do, it just waits for the completion of the message. In other words, it synchronizes with the server and will resume operation when the reply comes back from the server. The message, the outgoing message, can have many different states. The most interesting state is replied, which indicates that the reply was received from the server. In this state, the reply parameters is extracted from the message and the fields representing the results of basic calculations are extracted. The first three, sum, different and product, are obvious. However, the ratio field might not be included. If it's included, it's red. If not, the undefined will be printed on the screen. Another interesting state of the message is rejected. Uh, this state will never happen in this example program, but is included in the source code for completeness. The message can be rejected when the server decides that it doesn't want to process the message or when some exception will be thrown and at the server side. This is when the client will see the rejected state for the message. Let's see the server code. 
the server again written in C++. The most important part of this code is the message handler. Also um, written as a, a single global function. This global function call expects a single incoming message parameter. The message handler extracts the parameters from the, from the incoming message and reads two integers. The names of the fields are A and B, the same as were used at the client side. Then the parameters object, another one, is created to contain the results. The first three, some different than product, are computed immediately. But the ratio is computed only when it can be computed. Otherwise, it's not included in the reply. And then the message is replied. The parameters object containing the information that has to be sent back to the client is included in the reply. And then the server simply prints a confirmation message on the, on the screen. The main function of the, of the server is very similar to the previous example. And the server simply creates the agent object, establishes a listener at the given server address, and registers the logical destination object. The, the name of this object is calculator, and call is a global function that will be used as a message handler. Then the server blocks, as the whole activity of the server will be driven by the agent background threats.